Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264. You can also text at 741741. And for additional resources, reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can text or call that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So uh, I hope everyone is having a good day, and I hope everyone um, had a pleasant weekend. I know I didn't mention that yesterday, but I hope everyone uh, took the time to enjoy themselves and um, just, you know, put yourself first. You know, we often don't do that. So today I want to talk about stress uh, and, particularly, and particularly PTSD, you know, and, you know, anyone can have that. It's just an event that occurs to someone that's uh, frightened them or scared them that put them in a dangerous situation. So, um, like I said, this week is going to be geared toward young women. <clears throat> so, if you are at the age of where you are trying to find your way, trying to become the best person that you can, um, I don't want you to let your past uh, dictate you or let it guide you or keep you back or hold you back. Because I know a lot of young women have been through a lot. Some have uh, grown up without parents. Some has been in the foster care system. Uh, some just are trying to, you know, make their mark on the world. So a lot of women have been through a lot before the age of 18. So um, I understand that and, um, and I'm praying for you. I just want you to know that much I am praying for you. But I also want you to understand that you don't have to let your stress or your worries or the PTSD of the past uh, control your future. What you need to do is, uh, like I said in the message yesterday, uh, take it slow. Don't rush. Get to know who you are. Learn what you like and what you don't like. You know, deal with the stress of your past. And if that means you need to go see someone outside or professional, by all means do that. And I always say, you know, go to God. And, um, you know, a lot of people think that when you go to God that um, you let everything else in the world, you you put that to the side and you don't use those resources. And that's not how it is. If you listen to spirit, he will tell you and he will direct you. You know, you need to do this. You need to make sure that you're taking care of this. So there's uh, people are in different professions to help you. You know, you have a doctor that you will go to when you feel that you are sick and need to um, find out what's wrong. So um, God to speak to you only if you listen. So it's the same thing with your mental. If you've been through some uh, horrible things in your life, and you just can't seem to get past it, and you don't know what you should do, then I would act, I would suggest that you go get some counseling and always go and talk to Spirit because He's going to be there for you. You know, don't let your stress and your uh, fear of what happened to you uh, carry out into your adult life because when you do that, that's when you start making choices that are not good for you. That's not going to help you. You know, you get into a relationship that's not uh, healthy and you can't see it because you're broken. So um, you have to fix the PTSD. You can't allow it to just be a part of your life and don't claim it, you know. Don't sit here, well, this is what I have. Um, so you, you may have it. You may very well have it, but do something about it. Don't let it consume your life. If you know someone that's going through this and uh, you're going through this, watch this video as many times as you need to. Share it and try to be there for one another. Don't point fingers. Um, don't play on someone when you know that they are going through something and uh, they don't know how to deal with it. Be there for them. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.